Hey, people, it's uh, David Gracia here, as it says above me. And, and this is Taylor Lovejoy um, from Slash Mini Records, Slash Mini Network. And uh, today we have a, a very special, special video for you guys. It's going to be a little long. And uh, we're both doing sort of a joint um, recent pickups video. Um, Taylor's got a few things that he got the past few days. And I, I found something today that I got, and that's just incredible. So I've, I've like a few things. Taylor's got a few things as well, and uh, we're gonna sort of uh, go along with it and uh, see, see what comes along. So I'm gonna have Taylor go first. So uh, start showing us what you got, man. All right, starting with um, video games first. Um, keep in mind, guys, that this is only stuff I picked up over the past like five days. So. Um, First I got, my mom bought um, these, the first three, for about $20 a few days ago at a pawn shop. Assassin's Creed, which I just started a few days ago. It's pretty good. I'm not very far, but Assassin's Creed 2, I haven't done anything on. Same with the next ones. Um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and Call of Duty 3. I picked this one up yesterday for 10 bucks. It was down at M&M's Games down in um, St. Pete. Largo. Great little store I went there, for my, or Largo rather, for my second time yesterday. I picked it up, so it was pretty worth it. Um, I picked this one up today for a buck, actually. Star Wars for the Nintendo Game Boy. I was with I've yet to got. play this because I just got it. Yeah, with, with most of the CDs and stuff that are coming up, he was with me, but um, he was asking three bucks where I walked away. He called me back and I was like, yeah, I'll give it to you for a dollar instead. So I was like, okay. <laughs> Alright. Next, um, I'll save those for last. Alright. Starting, um, with, these are some of the CDs I picked up. Most of them today, actually, but, um, and few of them most of them from the same person, too. Yeah. Um, one of my buddies goes to my school. He is a little CD shop and, Record shop at the flea market, so he gives me good deals a lot. If you're um, ever in, uh, if, you're ever in Dead Dead Tuff, flea, if you're ever in Big Top Flea Market in Tampa, he's in uh, row what? Uh, row O N and P. O N and P. And refer to Taylor Lovejoy. Yes, directly in the middle. You know Taylor Lovejoy. By the way, guys, um, I don't know if you can tell, there's sort of a delay between my audio and Taylor's audio. So there will be times in the video where I am unintentionally cutting him off, where he's unintentionally cutting me off. I'm not trying to be rude, nor is he. So uh, just be warned there. Um, continue, Taylor. Do that one over again. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Um, picked up Grateful Dead in the dark. Um, I love Grateful Dead. I'm very, one of the very few people that do. If you guys know Ralph Soto, who works with the rack, um Slasher mini records, then he's like a major fan of them. Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin. Um, yeah, I haven't listened to it yet. As it, like, same with most of them, I just picked them up. But these are alphabetized, except for the last ones. But all right, Joss Stone LP one. Got this for two bucks last uh, Sunday at the flea market. So I'm sorry, I said five days within the past five days I've gotten on these, but. Seven, if you want to call me a liar, but um, yeah, it's a good album. I've been really in Joss Stone lately, so it's a good pickup. Next, I ordered this online actually, like Monday. Joss Stone, Mind, Body, and Soul. You get to listen to it, but um, the song Right to Be Wrong is on here, so I'm happy. All right, I got this from David here, Peter Gabriel. So it's a, it's a good album, guys. Uh, I got the vinyl for free, so whenever he picked this up, I was like, okay, I want it. <laughs> picked this up today from Andrew again from the flea market. Rush, exit stage left. I gave my vinyl copy to David. You guys have seen my vinyl reviews or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a half-decent live album. I've listened to it on vinyl before. It's okay. Um, lastly, for this set of CDs... Um, Shooter Jennings, I just listened to this in the car. It's Electric Rodeo is what it's called. I was expecting it to be okay. 
Um, but it's actually a great album. It's not like country like you would expect it to be. It's it's more rock than country. Really, it, it's, really I want you to call it southern rock. I call it rock. What? Are you doing the uh, Are you doing the box first, or are you doing the individual CDs you got today first? Because I know what you're doing next. Uh, I'll do the box. I'm doing the box first. No, save the box for last. Save the box for last. All right. All right. Um, you guys will find out in a second. But yeah, this is Waylon Jennings' son. If you guys know who he is, country singer. Um, one of the outlaws, if you guys know. Not the band outlaws, but he was considered one of the outlaws as in country musicians, whatever. All right. These are the ones I'm saving for, um, I'm doing last. It's a whole section. All right. Pick all four of these up today in the box that I picked up a few days ago from David here. Um, Aerosmith, um, Permanent Vacation, notable songs on it, Ragdoll, Dude Looks Like a Lady, and Angel. It's a good album. I've only listened to it in full like once, but it's pretty good. Um, Made in America, it's like a promo thing that Columbia Records put out of Aerosmith. It has Back in the Saddle, Toys in the Attic, Seasons of Wither, Walk This Way, Chip Away the Stone, and One Way Street Live. So it's pretty cool that I picked this up. It was only, I think, all together for all these, I spent like eight bucks or seven bucks or something. So, and then I picked up, now this one's really cool. Nine Lives. It's the original cover, like the very original one. So it's pretty legit. Um, yeah, I'm going, I'm still doing it. Okay, okay. I know, I, I'll be out there in a minute. We're almost done. We've only got a couple more things to do. Okay, sorry for that, guys. Sorry. Um, okay, lastly, for this, I picked up Aerosmith Get a Grip. And whenever I picked it up, this is like really, this is really cool. Um, it has an Aerosmith um, Antistic of 2003 in the back. The person just put it there for safety, and I guess for God or something. It's really cool. It's at the St. Pete Times Forum in Tampa Bay. That's where um, the RNC was this past week. So I go there pretty much probably three or four times each year. Me too. Um, so it's, it's really a cool, cool venue. Notable song. It really is. Um, notable songs, Living on the Edge, Crying. And I can't look at the rest because it's stupid. Ticket. Well, not stupid, but um, living on the edge, crying, crazy. Oh, that's on it, and amazing. All right. And lastly, picked this up from David the other day for twenty bucks. It's an eighty dollar box set of Aerosmith. Box of fire. It's in like pristine condition. You guys, want to look at that again? Look at that beauty. Be lucky. Just be lucky it wasn't too big of a loss for me. As um, their first seven studio albums in it, they're numbered um, on the sides, if you guys can't see it. But, like, this one's the one. This is their first album. That's at the bottom. But, um, as their first seven studio albums, um, Aerosmith, I'm trying to remember them in order. Aerosmith, Get Your Wings, Toys in the Attic, Rocks, um... Oh, God. What is it? Draw the Line. Uh, there's the bootleg. Um, Night in the Rest. And what's the last one, David? Rock in a Hard Place. <laughs> all right. But it also came with, like, all the, I can't remember. Um, it came with all these live albums. It was everything that was released on Columbia Records. Um, here's the live bootleg. Um, it came with Gems, Greatest Hits, and Classics Live 1 and 2. And lastly, what makes the box the most notable is this. It's the bonus disc. Box of Fire bonus disc. Um, I have yet to listen to it. I really want to. I'm excited for it. But it has on it the 91 version of Sweet Emotion, uh, Rocking Pneumonia, and The Boogie Woogie Flu, <laughs> Subway and Circle Jerk, and Dream on the MTV Anniversary Edition, which that, David says really, it's like. It's a really good version of the song. If you've never heard it, him and uh, Michael Common's orchestra did it with them, and it was just spectacular. So yeah, if you guys can't tell, I've been almost obsessing over Aerosmith. That's like my band right now. 
um, which my band changes pretty much every couple weeks or so. So I obsess over buying the albums. Like if you can't, you haven't been able to tell like from the other videos, I picked up all the U2 albums, all the Pink Floyds, all the Bird Fives. Um, so yeah, it's my obsession. All right now, on to you, Dave. Okay. Um, first, a little backstory as to how I got this one. Um, I like to go out and I like to buy games, and then when I lose interest or I find something else I want, I will sell them. And this can happen in, you know, a matter of weeks or months, or it can happen in a matter of days. For example, a couple of the things I traded in today I had for about 24 hours before I brought them back to the flea market and traded them in. And um, I brought in... A PS1 and a Game Gear, and then some games with it. In the meantime, losing money. I didn't lose money at all, Taylor. Um, so I ended up with like 60 bucks, which is what I was expecting, and I was very happy. And I'm walking around, you know, there were a couple video game items that I'm thinking about buying. But, uh, you know, I'm not entirely too sure. And we pass by this, and literally I walk by this woman and her kid... And I didn't spot this until, you know, like about five steps away. I'm like, dude, we need to go back. I got to see this. And they only wanted $50 for this. And um, and I bought it. And I'm going to start with the stuff it came with before I get to the big thing. This one is for uh, this one's for Jason Janess and Billy Burke. Enjoy. Uh, first of all, I got this. A uh, shoebox of crap here. Uh, I guess GBX is a shoe company. It's a big box, so maybe boots. Okay. First off, um, there is a random auxiliary, or there's a random half a power supply cable. I'm really not sure why this is here, but uh, I suppose it can be used. And, um,. So, I don't know. It's uh, I guess I can use it for, like, a boombox or something. Or if Taylor needs it, he can have it. There you go. Here's where it starts to get good. Um, I have this line around my house, just a random NES controller. Fairly common, nice buttons. Just sitting around doing nothing. Um, a pleasant surprise. A Nintendo NES Advantage. This is a uh, turbo slash arcade stick released for the NES. Um, if you look, it's got turbo switches for A and B, adjustable turbo uh, dials to adjust the intensity of the turbo, uh, slow motion switch, which is a rapid pause, pause and unpause, start select player one and two because um, it has two different adapter thingies, and a full arcade joystick. And uh, this thing's heavy. If you put it on a table, it's got little rubber feet. It's not going to move anywhere. These things usually sell for about ten to twenty dollars, depending on condition. Um, and then I want to keep it, um, guys. Keep in mind that everything here was sold um, to him for about fifty bucks. Well, fifty bucks exactly, all together. As so a- keep that in mind when this comes. And then I got, I got these with it. The the last one, huh? I said from the same person too. So except for except for the last game, I bought the last one separate. But um, okay. Uh, first one is Basis Loaded Two by Galico, uh, second season, and uh, it's kind of cool, I guess. It's not too bad a game. Um, we have a uh, Gauntlet by Tengen. Uh, this is a really cool. It's a uh, it's one of the licensed Tengen games because they also had unlicensed ones too. And, uh, but this is a licensed one, and it is Gauntlet, based on the arcade game. So I'm very, very happy to have that, especially with the NES Advantage. Um, this game is one I've never seen before. It's by EA, and it's called Will Harvey Presents the Immortal. And uh, it's got some weird cover art, but I'll have to uh, I'll have to do a little bit more research into this. You guys can probably see where this is going by now. <laughs> Kung Fu, this was one of the launch titles. It's a black box game. Simple. And then the game that I was probably most excited to get, this was, uh, 
this is a part of the lot that was given to me by the same woman that I bought the ending product from. And it is a copy of Square's classic Rad Racer, which, um, you know, if you, if you press select mid-game, it goes into the Anaglyph 3D with the colors, and it's pretty funny. And then um, I bought this from a guy named Brandon, who I uh, buy some stuff from every once in a while in the center of the flea market. And it's Star Tropics, and this was only like three bucks. So um, I'm glad to have Star Tropics. And, um, and Jason and Billy, this is the part where you get jealous, upset, and possibly need to change your pants and or boxers. <clears throat> I present to you... Did you ever else be used? Yes. Uh, I present to you the, the main reason I have all this crap in this box. This is a box 1987 Nintendo Entertainment System action set. Mint condition and complete. Mint. Huh? I said mint condition. Oh, yes. And uh, the only thing it's missing is the instruction manuals, which I can easily get, uh, probably from M&M's. And um, this thing is complete. Should I, uh, should I unbox it, Taylor? Sure. <laughs> Have everyone else see what comes with it. Okay. Um, let me adjust the sort of uh, angle you guys see this from. Okay. Um, if you look here, we have the box. It advertises that it comes with the uh, NES Zapper Gun, two controllers, uh, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, and the control deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the uh, inner inner box from here. Gotta love that uh, beautiful minty styrofoam. And that sound. You know, just it's so beautiful. And then. Duh. I'm kidding. Um, this here is the, uh, this is everything it comes with here. Uh, we have here our Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt cartridge with the sleeve. We have our beautiful, beautiful condition Nintendo Entertainment System. That I'll work. I'm throwing this one more time. Wait, I want to throw in one more time. Keep in mind, guys, this was $50 for everything. The whole lot. The whole lot. Beautiful condition, and this thing boots on a dime. Like, you don't even have to blow the cartridges off or wipe, you know, unless you buy them from somewhere else, you'd have to wipe them off and stuff. But I have not had to, um, I've not had to blow on any of the cartridges attempting to get this thing to run. It works flawlessly. AC adapter. RF unit. Okay. Okay. RF unit. We have here two controllers. There's one. There's two. And then everyone's favorite accessory, of course, in my opinion, next to the NES Advantage, is the Nintendo Light Zapper. Gotta love that click. So cool looking. Very nice. I haven't played Duck Hunt yet, but uh, I don't doubt that it will control. Absolutely incredible, because it is a game involving the wonderful Nintendo Zapper NES. So, um, yeah, um, Personally, it's some of the greatest pickups I've ever had, and I think Taylor had some good ones too. So uh, we hope to see you guys soon, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace, guys. Right, see you guys. See you.